News 9 Sports. Friday will be a big test for the Brewers offense. Milwaukee has great power, ranking second in home runs in the National League during the regular season and third in slugging percentage. But the offense will have to be operating on all cylinders from the opening pitch in game one when they face Clayton Kershaw. He'll be coming off six days of rest and perhaps his best career postseason starts an eight inning two hit shutout in game two against the Braves where he walked none and struck out three. There is no denying the presence Kershaw brings and Milwaukee knows he will present a challenge. His record and his resume speak for itself. You know, he's one of the best uh, pitchers in the game and you know, we're going to go out there. Uh, you're going to have to compete. You know, he's going to bring everything he's got. Uh, we're going to make him uh, throw pitches, make him come to us and not, not chase out of the zone and, uh, you know, stick to a game plan and try and execute. Everything's going the way it should be right now. Everybody's healthy. Um, we're getting contributions from everybody up and down the roster. Um, so still have some work to be done. Dodgers are going to be an extremely tough challenge, and uh, we'll, we'll look forward to kind of attacking that pitching staff. One-time Pro Bowl safety HaHa Clinton Dix is playing in a contract year, and he told Jason Wilde of Cover 2 and ESPN Wisconsin that he does not think he will be in Green Bay next season. Not that he doesn't want to be a Packer, but his up-and-down play in the first five games has not given the Packers reason to talk dollars, and his inconsistency mirrors that of the entire defense. Clinton Dix is tied for the NFL lead with three interceptions. But he's missed way too many tackles. The Packers defense as a whole ranks fourth in yards and 14th in points. And yet there has been some terrible play in parts of every game except for one. Well, I think we can put a whole full game together. Uh, some great things that a lot of guys, a lot of individuals are doing, um, including myself. But it's always room for improvement. Um, I think for myself, I want to put a complete game together myself. Um, you know, making more plays, um, finishing tackles. Um, and just overall, I'm making this defense better. The kicker for the Wisconsin football team could make history this Saturday at Michigan. Raphael Gaglianone is just one made field goal away from becoming UW's all-time leading kicker. This Saturday against Nebraska, he tied Todd Gregoire by kicking his 65th field goal. Right now, he's UW's third all-time leading scorer, accounting for 385 career points. And he's the school's top kicker already, scoring-wise. Obviously a big week and a big game for us, so I just want to prepare the right way and not put anything personal in front of, you know, the team goals. So I'm just trying to really be the best kicker that I can be. And I know that if I do that, the records will come and everything else will follow. So I'm really just trying to be the best teammate and best senior leader that I can be. Let's shift gears to prep football now because an area running back is also having quite a year for himself. Our Athlete of the Week, Medford's Garrett Hill, leads the Great Northern Conference in rushing yards with a whopping 1,064. Hill had a heck of a performance last week in a blowout win over Merrill. He rushed for 220 yards and was responsible for three touchdowns. He's had three rushing touchdowns five times this season, but that's not even the most impressive part. Hill also manages to maintain a 4.1 GPA. I don't think I could be happier. It's gone great so far, um, way better than last year. You can tell the work that we put in during the offseason helped a lot. A big accomplishment. Um, I love football. I love playing football. I really didn't have a breakout game yet this season, so I feel like there's a lot built up. I was so happy, so proud, uh, so thankful that I get the opportunity to lead a team.